This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a DeGuard lock cylinder. It seems to be a pretty direct and high quality copy of the Multilock Interactive, which is a higher security lock that I've featured on this channel many times in the past. The Multilock Interactive is one of those locks that I have mixed feelings about, because I know it's highly unlikely that this would be picked in real life, but I also know that a moderately skilled picker can learn to open them without too much difficulty. In fact, multi-locks were some of the very first dimple-style locks that I learned to open. Now, what makes this a higher security lock? Well, first, these have telescoping concentric pins. In other words, each pin has a pin inside of it, and they need to be picked separately. That requires a dialed-in touch and precision pick placement. It also has good key control. That refers to your confidence as a lock owner that when you lend the key to someone, it's difficult for them to make a copy. It requires special key blanks with this tiny little moving part, and reputable locksmiths will not copy the key unless you show them your code card. The downside to that little moving part, though, is that it makes picking a little bit easier, because you always know that the outer pin in slot 2 is set very high. So, I think that's enough talking, let's see what it takes to pick this open, and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. I'm going to put this in a vise to hold it as it would be in a door. Then I'm going to use this Z-bar for tension, and this multi-pick dimple pick. As I said, we have a free spot on the bingo card, so let's go right to that. It's the outer pin in slot two. We just set it. Let's go to slot one now. A little bit of counter rotation. That felt like a spool pin. And a click out of the inner pin. Click out of the inner pin on two. Counter rotation on the outer pin on three. And a click on the inner pin. Number four, counter rotation on the outer pin. And the inner pin. Click out of the inner pin. Number five, counter rotation as well. Okay, we just got a very deep false set, which probably means all we have left are inner driver pins. Yep, and it was on number three, and we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart, and I will show you all those pins inside. Let's lock it back up get my pinning tray. First thing we need to do is to remove the two screws in the back. And I'm going to get a key and a follower. That should allow me to remove the cylinder. Okay, first thing we're going to do is dump out all of these key pins. Slot one looks like we have a, a spooled outer pin. Slot two has standard inner and outer pins. Slot three has a spooled outer pin and standard inner pin. Same for slot four. And same for slot five. And I don't see anything else unusual about this. No drill protection. If you look down in slot two, you can see a little ball bearing detent. That's what pushes on that moving piece on the key that is also in slot two. Let's arrange all of these pins, then we'll get the driver pins out. Okay, except for slot number two, I could feel spooled outer pins, so that's what I'm expecting to find. I didn't feel any spooling on the inner pins, and that's what we have on slot one. I'll give you a close-up of all of this in just a moment. Standard in slot two, as expected. Spooled on slot three. Spooled 
spooled on slot four. And spooled on slot five. And I don't see anything unusual on the inside of this. I'll note, I don't see any drill protection in either the housing or the cylinder, which certainly sets it apart from multi-lock interactives. Okay, let's zoom in on this so you can get a little bit of a better look. Okay, you can see in slot one, we have a torpedo-shaped or spooled outer key pin that means if you lift up that key pin too far, it will be very hard to recover from it. It's an excellent anti-pick feature that you also see in slots three, four, and five. Nothing else of note on the inner pins other than you can see that they are very small and very difficult to get your pick on. Then on the outer pins, or I'm sorry, the driver pins, we have spooled outer and standard inner pins. The only exception to that is in slot two, which has standard inner and outer pins. So an interesting little lock, certainly a viable replacement for a multi-lock interactive if you don't need anti-drill features. And certainly at the price, I think it's probably a security bargain. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this DeGuard cylinder. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.